I guess I've got one. I guess it's there. It's, it's sort of doing things most of the time. don't really know what it's doing. I don't have any in-depth technical knowledge about the brain. I know where it is. I suppose that's why I'm interested in, in seeing it. I think it, it's a great opportunity to actually have a look inside my own head and see possibly what's going on there. But at the end of it, I'll, I'll have something great to show. I'll have a picture of my brain I can put on my Facebook site. My feelings about the scan now, I suppose I'm a bit ambiguous because I'm still really interested to get the, the result, but I'm getting slightly more nervous about the process, I have to say, and about being put into, um, I don't mind the confined space, but it's, it's the space with this huge magnetic field. And um, I'm wondering if I'll come out the same person as I went in. <laughs> well, you got when I looked at the questionnaire, then I suddenly started to realize that actually it's quite a serious process. I'd possibly been a bit flippant about seeing it as, okay, it's just, I just go in, I get scanned, it's no big deal. I'll let you fill all that in and then we'll... Uh... But when I noticed all the questions about metal and um, surgery and clips and things inside the body, I realised that there were, you know, there, there were safety issues involved right. and it, it was quite a powerful thing that I'd be subjecting myself to. Um, and so, right, I need you to remove all your metal items, so uh, any necklaces, yep. um, your glasses need to come off. Sure. 87 pence is safe. <laughs> it's a sort of fairly straightforward process. Gradually you, you, you find yourself more and more constrained like from what in my imagination was just you know me unfettered going through this machine you know sort of lying down in a sort of quiet way turned into earphones earplugs pads holding my head in place and then you get this sort of strange cage like contraption over your head um, then i think i was if i had been claustrophobic i probably would have you know not been very happy at that point you ready to go? Here we go. Off we go. It's very noisy. There's the noise which is, I think, is the sort of pulses from the, the magnet. It's almost like a 12 minute warp record song. It's like sort of, you know, it's a strange electronic, monotonous music. A researcher will come up with a certain um, plan. Um, they will then recruit X amount of people for their study. No volunteers, no scanning, no research, no future developments in, in, in neuroscience. Obviously this is a, um, an amazing centre for uh, innovative neuroscience um, uh, and therefore without the, the raw materials, i.e. people's brains, um, we, we can't do any research. Simple as that. How are you doing Steve? You okay? Hi. Fantastic job. We're just going to have a quick check through that data um, and then we'll get you out. Is that okay? The big payoff for me was actually seeing the, the images on the screen. It's, it's like a sort of form of interior narcissism to actually see your brain up there and, and be able to sort of scroll around and look through it. I think previously I'd thought of it as a big, just a sort of general mass, but now I'm thinking of, oh, there are finely distinguished parts of it. So it, it might change how I think of my interior processes. Well, I'm, I'm amazed. 